Love Dolls. It is I, Art Book Duty, or DJ Kitty Ruby. You know, your girl. And today, we are here with a new video. Over the holiday break, I didn't get much for Christmas, but I did get a new set of these lovely colors here. Um, they are the Daniel Smith Watercolor Prim Primatech sets. It has six different colors in it. It's got Rhodonite Genuine, Jedite Genuine, Amethyst Genuine, Mayan, Mayan Blue Genuine, Hematite, and okay, this one's harder, even though I haven't said any of these right, probably, is Pimo, Pomatite, Pomatite Genuine? Ah, I'm horrible at names, but they are very, very beautiful, very colorful. Um, so I did open these up. I did swatch them. I put them in pans. Let me show you the swatches just right here really quick. I will show you the piece that I worked on and then you'll jump into the next bit of me swatching them out, opening them, swatching them out, putting them in pans, all that fun stuff. And then you'll see me working on the piece itself. So these come in six colors. They do have a regular primary set that has six colors. You get two yellows, two reds, and two blues. Uh, I have enough reds, yellows, and blues in my repertoire of different um, gouache, watercolors, all that stuff. I have enough of those. So I was like, mm, let's go outside the box. Plus, I really like the genuine colors, the Primatech colors. Really nice. So here is all the colors. This is the Rhodite, Rhodonite, the Jedite, Amethyst, Mayan Blue, Hematite, and the Palelitite, whatever, how, Palomatite? I don't know. Um, this one I was expecting to actually be, be like more brown. And this one was supposed to be like a brownish red, which it kind of is. It's like a dark, but this one looked more brown um, on the swatch, on the, the thing, but it didn't turn out that way. But it's okay, I like it. Um, it's like a lighter neutral than the neutral tint that I have. So I like it. Um, I did a swatch, a faded swatch. Then I also did a glazing. I did, I tried to see how much they can be removed. Um, I did a water test where I laid down water and then dropped the color in. And they, some of them spread out really nicely and they blend together really nicely. And then I did the reverse. I put the color down and, and dropped in the water. Um, I only did that with one color, but I'm sure if I did it with each color, it might be a little different. So anyway, let me show you the piece really quick. And then you guys, you dolls, guys and dolls, can get into... The opening and the swatching and all that jazz and then uh, we will talk about the pros and cons and if I liked it and if I didn't like it and all that other stuff so here is the piece I did a fairy she's a fairy queen um, for her skin I used basically used like just a washed out tone of the pomonite which is this color right here at the end down here in this corner one right here. Um, I found that if you added a lot of water to it, it was kind of a nice bronzy skin tone and it was really lovely. Um, some of the areas got a little bit more granulation than excuse me, others, which is fine. Um, this was more about seeing what the paints could do. And at the time I just couldn't think of anything else to do. I was trying to think of a landscape that I could do, but I just couldn't think of one. And so I just sketched this out really quick and then traced it onto the watercolor paper. Um, so for her skin, I used that one. For her, for her dress, I used the amethyst. For the, her hair, I used the amethyst and the pomonite color to mix together. So this is the amethyst. This is the pomonite. And then her hair is a mixture of the two of them put together. And then I outlined it in just the amethyst. The flowers are the 
wrote a night, which I already knew I was going to love anyway because I already have some of that. So are her lips, and I used a little bit in her cheeks. Her eyes and her wings are the Mayan Blue Genuine, which the out ring of her wings is a mixture between the Mayan Blue Genuine and the Hematite. Which, why is the Hematite the only one that doesn't say Genuine? It just says Hematite. Um, but anyway, um, her crown like jewel on her head has the hematite as the metal and then it has the jedite for the jewels the background is a mixture between using strictly jedite but genuine um, where it's more green and then the leaves and then I have some that is mixed with jedite and hematite um, so like this is the Jedite, and then up here you get more of the Jedite and the Hematite. And like, same with up here, but it has more green in it. Um, and I use the Hematite solidly for her um, eyelashes. Um, I don't know, I really like these colors a lot. There's like different variations that you can use them in, which is really fun. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch all of the footage that I filmed while uh, unboxing and swatching and making the piece. And then uh, I'll tell you guys how I felt.
hope you like that. I'm trying to try to make this little tidbit quick here because I know that was a lot of footage. Um, I, I know it's going to be sped up for you. It's going to be a speed paint at the end there, but still. I don't want this video to be super, super long, even though I have a tendency of doing that, and I do apologize. <clears throat> but, so, with this piece, with these colors, I know it's not the idea set to use because they do granulate. All the colors granulate beautifully. I love granulation. Um, and when they're solid, when you use them in really dark, they don't granulate as much in small spaces, which is also really cool. Um, I love these colors. They're very mixable, even to, like together. I haven't really mixed them with other colors outside of the set yet, but I will be, trust me. Um, yeah, I like these colors. I love Daniel Smith. I am happy that I grabbed these colors. Like I said, only one of them was a repeat color for me because I already had it previously because I saw swatches of it on Amazon and I bought it. Um, so it's, now I have it in two pieces two palettes because I have it in my big gouache and watercolor palette here. Look, I have some of it right there. It's big one right there is the Rhodite Genuine. And then I have, now I have it in this one that is mostly my shin hand. Oh, I'm horrible at this. My shin hand is all up here and then these, small, these four right here. And then these are Daniel Smith here. These are two mixes of these colors. These two colors is this one. This color plus this one? No, these two colors. Sorry, it's this one. So, and then I put these over here. So this whole row is all Daniel Smith or personal mixes. This one's not Daniel Smith, but it's okay. So, all down here. Um, so I will be, you know, trying them out and, uh, you know, the only one that was really sparkly was the amethyst one, which is cool. Um, so I liked it. Anyway, I just used for her eyes. I just kept the white of the paper because I was really trying to stick to just using the set. That was it. I was like, that's it. Those are the six colors you can use and that's it. <clears throat> so I knew her eyes were going to be white, so I had to not paint those. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed working with them, and I really liked to see them granulate and change color. And Oh, the textures are beautiful. So if you already have plenty of blues and yellows and reds, all the primaries, you have enough of those on your set, I would suggest getting these to add because these are beautiful. I definitely give them a 10 out of 10. They worked beautiful even if this piece is technically not what most people would use them with it was just something for me to know how far i could stretch these you know what i mean so i hope you dolls enjoyed this video happy new year because this is one of the first videos that's going up this year in 2019. don't forget to stay creative keep those creative juices flowing guys because if you don't then i won't just kidding. I can't do that. I will always keep my creative juices flowing because that's what makes me happy. Bye.